Empress Foam Run had a passionate love affair with the eunuch monk. When the emperor found out about their affair, she tried to kill him out of fear of being deposed. Yet despite all her ruthless actions, the emperor continued to love her and protected her from being deposed. Today we'll explore the unbelievable cheating scandal within the walls of the imperial palace. Empress Foam Run was a great-granddaughter of Emperor Wentong of the Northern Yang Dynasty. Following the Northern Wei's triumph over the Northern Yang Dynasty, Foam Run's grandfather, Prince Foam Lang, was executed. Consequently, Foam Run's father, Prince Foam Shi, sought refuge among the Qiong nomads. During his exile, he fathered a daughter, Princess Foam Run with a slave woman named Chang. Later on Grand Empress Dowager summoned Prince Foam back from exile and arranged for him to marry Princess Bowling of the Cheong tribe. Sadly, Princess Bowling died shortly after giving birth to Foam Ching, leaving Prince Foam devastated. Eventually, he married Chan the slave woman. At the age of 13, Princess Feng and her half-sister Fang Ching were chosen by the Grand Empress Dowager to be Emperor Xiao Wen's concubines. Both sisters were favored by Emperor Xiao Wen. However, Princess Feng Run became sick and she was sent to a Buddhist nunnery. Meanwhile, her half-sister Feng Ching was soon promoted to Empress Xiao Wenfei. She automatically became Emperor Xiao Wen's wife. But after Princess Foam recovered from her sickness, the Emperor summoned her back to the palace to become his concubine once again. In no time, she ascended to the position of his cherished favorite and was elevated to the esteemed rank of Imperial Consort. However, deep within, she harbored a yearning for greater recognition and felt dissatisfied with her current status. She was jealous of her half-sister, Empress Foam Ching's status. Consumed by her own ambitions, Consort Foam Run resorted to spreading malicious rumors about Empress Foam Ching, and relentlessly pressing for her half-sister's deposition. The Emperor eventually gave in to her demands, deposing Empress Foam Ching and forcing her to become a Buddhist nun in 496. Foam Run was then installed as Empress, but remained childless. Meanwhile, a lower-ranking concubine gave birth to the heir apparent, named Yuan Ku. Unfortunately, the concubine died shortly after giving birth. Some ancient chroniclers claim that Empress Foam Run poisoned her. It is unclear whether or not Empress Foam Run had hand in her death. Emperor Xiao Wen went on military expeditions for years. As a result, he was not often at the palace in the capital Luoyang. Empress Feng therefore carried on an affair with her attendant Pusa, who was both a eunuch and a Buddhist monk. The Emperor's absence gave the opportunity for Empress Feng Run to indulge in her love affair with the eunuch monk. When her personal attendant Ju tried to counsel her to stop the affair, she would not, and Ju died in fear and anger. Empress Feng Run was determined to elevate her family's status. In order to achieve her goal, she sought to arrange a marriage between her younger brother and Emperor Xiao Wen's widowed sister, Princess Pengcheng. Emperor Xiao Wen approved of the marriage, as Princess Pengcheng was unwilling to marry Feng Su. She escaped from Luoyang and sought out the Emperor at the front line, revealing to him Empress Feng's passionate love affair with the eunuch. Emperor Xiao Wen refused to believe his sister's accusation. When Empress Foam Run learned that Princess Pengcheng had told her husband about her love affair, she was worried that she would be deposed like Empress Foam Ching. She and her mother, Princess Chang, practiced witchcraft to kill the Emperor. However, the witchcraft failed, and the news reached the Emperor's ears. Even though there was evidence that Empress Foam Run and her mother had practiced witchcraft, the Emperor refused to believe that his beloved Empress had tried to kill him. Following these unfortunate events, the Emperor returned home in 499. He desired to know the truth about the cheating scandal from people within the Imperial Palace. He started out by interrogating Pusa and Shuang, and both admitted. He then summoned Empress Feng and confronted her with Pusa and Shuang's testimony. After finishing the interrogation, he then summoned his brother's Yuan Xie and instructed him to treat Feng Run as a passerby and need not avoid her. 
By traditional Chinese custom, a brother-in-law and a sister-in-law may not sit together or speak with each other. Emperor Xiaowen then stated, this woman wanted to stick a knife in my ribs. Because she is a daughter of Empress Dowager Wenming's clan, I cannot depose her, but I hope that one day she will find her conscience and kill herself. After the prince exited, Emperor Xiaowen gave her a final goodbye, indicating that he would not see her again. The concubine still greeted her as empress, but Emperor Xiaowen ordered his crown prince not to see her again as well. When Emperor Xiaowen sent eunuchs to give her instructions on certain matters, she rebuked the eunuchs, stating that she was an empress and would not take instructions from eunuchs. In anger, the emperor sent a cane to her mother Lady Chang, and Lady Chang was forced to cane Empress Feng herself as punishment. Later that year, Emperor Xiaowen grew seriously sick, and he left instructions to his brother to force Empress Feng to commit suicide by poison after his own death, but to bury her with imperial honors still to avoid shame to the Feng clan. This may have been seen as an act of love. The emperor knew his brothers hated Empress Feng run. They made it clear that once he died, they would kill the empress themselves. Thus Emperor Xiaowen probably thought that having her commit suicide by poison would be better than his brother's methods of eliminating her. He then died, and Yuan Xie sent the palace official Zheng to give her poison. Empress Feng refused to drink the poison, stating, My husband did not make such an order. It is the princess who wants to kill me. Jing seized her physically and forced poisonous peppers into her mouth, and she died. She was buried with imperial honors with her husband. It is clear that Empress Feng Run was hated during and after her lifetime. Nevertheless, Empress Xiaowen continued to love Empress Feng Run despite her cruel actions. <laughs>